Hi, I'm Andre Weinstock, Research Director at the Alport Syndrome Foundation. Like many of you watching this video, I'm also an Alport Syndrome patient. I've worn hearing aids from the age of 10, have undergone hemodialysis treatments, and have had two kidney transplants over my lifetime, the latest of these just this past April. Prior to joining the staff at the ASF this January, I was a volunteer on the Board of Directors for the ASF for seven years, and I've worked as a research scientist in the pharmaceutical industry for over 20 years. In this short video, I want to describe some of the work your donations have allowed for the ASF to progress in therapeutic research that may not be as obvious as the ASF Alport Patient Registry or the Neptune Alport Cohort Study. For some context, there are two key events that happened in 2018, which are referenced in the accompanying text. The first is that the position paper by the Alport Syndrome Classification Working Group that defines Alport Syndrome by its genetic causes, not so much by the symptoms that are actually exhibited. The second is the Voice of the Patient Report, which summarizes the highest priority from patients with concerns is for research into Alport Syndrome to develop safe and effective treatments to delay or prevent kidney failure with minimal impact on quality of life. With genetic diagnosis now the gold standard, increased access to and lower expenses of genetic testing are finding a surge of misdiagnosed and undiagnosed Alport syndrome patients. With this increase in patients, it's becoming apparent that Alport syndrome is more common than previously thought and likely impacts close to 200,000 Americans, the upper limit of what the FDA classifies as a rare disease. In parallel, the Alport syndrome community is seeing greater interest than ever from pharmaceutical companies to look into our disease space. Five years ago, there were only two companies developing Alport syndrome specific therapies. Today, the ASF is in communication with more than two dozen companies. As ASF research director, my biggest responsibility is to engage and advise these companies early in their scientific processes to be sure they are aware of the underlying complexity of Alport syndrome causes and the diversity of its symptoms. Also, to ensure they are consulting with the best scientific experts, working with the most appropriate animal models, aware of and applying the best tools to translate the findings from animals to human models, designing clinical studies that meet both the needs of patients and the rigorous safety requirements of the FDA, organizing involving patient volunteers and speaking directly with drug development researchers, and much more. In short, my role with your support is to help make sure that the intellectual and financial resources of engaged pharmaceutical companies are being directed effectively and efficiently in their exploration of potential Alport syndrome therapies. And that includes your voice, the voice of the patient at all critical phases of decision making. The hope is that this will be of great benefit to the entire patient community. Thank you so much for your support and please reach out to me and the ASF if you have any questions. Stay well and thank you again.